Hello and a very warm welcome. I am Ruchi Sharma. We have got you all the latest news and updates from the blockchain technology world. CryptoWire, a crypto super app, which also includes the channel Crypto TV, has launched India's first index of cryptocurrencies, IC15. The IC15 index is aimed at helping investors track the performance of top 15 widely traded liquid cryptocurrencies listed on leading crypto exchanges across the globe. To track the IC15 index and its constituents, download the CryptoWire app from the Play Store. And now let's take a look at the headlines. RBI Deputy Governor says open for a fair debate on crypto assets. India's Bitcoin premium is higher than South Korea. Valkyrie Investments offers treasury management services to blockchain projects. Warner Music Group partners blockchain gaming developer. Europe on track to ban Bitcoin by 2025. FTX hires beauty entrepreneur to target $300 billion fashion industry. Bitcoin slips below $37,000 amid renewed fears of war. Alibaba to reward NFTs in its first blockchain game. The Reserve Bank of India will proceed with caution in involving the retail applications of the central bank digital currency and is willing to engage in a fair debate on crypto assets regulation despite strong views against legitimizing them in the country, Deputy Governor Michael Patra said. His comments were in response to questions from economists and other industry associates on the issue of allowing banks to lend to buy crypto. The deputy governor said the debate on crypto assets is still underway in India and there are various aspects to be considered. While the RBI's view is quite known actually on crypto, the institution was ready to engage in a fair debate and look at all sides of the argument, Patra said. The deputy governor was confident that the RBI would be able to roll out CBDC during the financial year and was experimenting with several technologies including the issue of privacy. Indians are paying three times more than that of South Koreans to buy Bitcoin, the largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization according to data. Bitcoin is trading on India's top exchanges at about a 5.7% premium compared to South Korea's famous kimchi premium of 1.6%. The price difference between global and local rates are glaring especially during bull markets data showed. According to experts, the prices are higher in India because there is more demand for crypto than the amount of supply that exists in the country. Price premium usually sits at 2% to 5%, which varies depending on exchange-specific trading volume, market efficiency and sentiments. The price differences have widened over time as more Indians have started investing in Bitcoin. Another contributor to Indians being forced to pay a premium for Bitcoin locally is the higher transaction fees and high USD INR exchange rates. Volkeri Investments, a specialized alternative asset management firm, has started offering treasury management services to blockchain projects with an aim to help manage their balance sheets more efficiently. The treasury management service will offer cash flow, management, propriety investing and advanced reporting. As its first client, Valkyrie has secured NEM symbol 2 layer 1 protocols that agreed to merge last year according to the announcement. Valkyrie is aiming to help blockchain projects focus on their job at hand while leaving the administration of their war chest to professional asset managers. Music giant Warner Music Group is partnering with blockchain gaming developer Splinterlands. The deal will give artists signed to WMG the opportunity to create and develop play-to-earn games that involve the use of crypto tokens. According to Jesse Reach, Splinterland co-founder and CEO Warner Music Group is innovating to meet the standards set by Web 3.0 community members. This isn't WMG's first move into crypto. Last year, the company worked with Genesis to create avatars and create NFT merchandise for WMG artists. Last month, WMG partnered with digital collectibles platform Block Party. 
European Parliament, one of the legislative branches of the European Union, has moved to ban Bitcoin and other proof of uh, cryptocurrencies. The final draft of the market in crypto assets framework, the much anticipated package of cryptocurrencies regulations, includes a provision forbidding the environmentally unsustainable consensus mechanism. This means that Bitcoin could become illegal within the European Union starting from Jan 1, 2025. Businesses would be prohibited from offering any services associated with proof of work cryptocurrencies. Stephen Berger, the centre-right reporter behind the framework, told the outlet that the proposal was very likely to be greenlit. Crypto exchange FTX is expanding its reach to include the luxury market. Lauren Remington Platt, a former model turned beauty entrepreneur, has been appointed to head the global luxury partnerships market. The firm continued to double down on branding and sponsorship opportunities. The exchange said Platt will build partnerships targeting luxury brands and encouraging them to integrate with cryptocurrency. Platt will work with FTX head of environmental and social initiatives Giselle Bunchen. On Wednesday, the company said that Platt will hunt out major luxury brands, a market estimated to be worth $300 billion that have not yet gotten into cryptocurrencies. Before joining FTX, Platt founded an on-demand beauty company called Veset, launching brand partnerships with Sac Fifth Avenue, Vogue, Michael Kors and Chopard. An FTX empire continues to grow, Platt will be essential for the next phase of growth of our team's partnership and branding focus said Sam Bankman-Fried, CEO of FTX, in a press release. Bitcoin slipped back below $37,000 on Thursday as fresh fears of Russian invading Ukraine loomed sapping investors' risk appetite. Ukraine declared a state of emergency and urged its citizens living in Russia to depart. U.S. intelligence said that a Russian invasion was imminent. At the time of publication, Bitcoin was trading below $37,000, down about 3% over the past 24 hours. The largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization has climbed above $39,000 on Wednesday. Ether, the second largest crypto by market cap, was changing hands below $2,600, down about 2% during the same period. Chinese multinational tech company Alibaba is rewarding non-fungible tokens on its first blockchain game, Ant Adventure, which can be played through the Aliplay mobile application. One of China's leading mobile payment providers, Ant Adventure is powered by Alibaba's blockchain Ant Chain and takes users through a series of quizzes designed to educate the public on fraud. Players earn points by beating levels that can be used to trade for NFT collections. Rewards can be viewed on Alibaba affiliate Ant Group's NFT market Jingtang, which has a 180-day lock period before assets can be transferred. China currently has no law or regulation on NFTs and blockchain-based games. That's all in the bulletin for now. Keep watching Crypto TV.